All right, man, torture talk. Six o'clock show. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So, uh, there's some dude uh, named DDG. Um, and he is going at Joe Buttons. And I never heard of this dude. And I'm always online. I never heard of this dude. And he's going at Joe Buttons because the Joe Buttons had said something about him and the girl, Holly Berry or Haley Berry, or whatever her name is. Um, and he's talking about Joe. So this comes courtesy of Never Give Up. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the clip and then I'm going to come back and discuss, you know, come and come get, get a couple of, I'm going to give my commentary, of course. So this is Torch Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the single, sexy, beautiful ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash at PayPal is in the description. You know, let me know where you're from. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. And look at my shades. Look at how smeared they are. You see that? They so smeared, man. I need to get me a cloth cleaner and clean these things and all that good stuff. But yeah, so let's get to it, man. Let's do it. So here we go. Here we go, man. Never give up. Shout out to him, man. We go and go, you know, and subscribe to his channel. Let's go, man. T, hot T, hot T. DDG is not playing with Joe Button. If you don't know anything about DDG and his YouTube career, when he beef with you, not only is he going to get every single dollar he can off your name, but he's not going to stop until you're six feet underground. Let me tell y'all what this dude... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you, yo, y'all gotta stop, bro. Y'all gotta stop this, bro. Y'all gotta stop this. Y'all gotta stop this. This uh, internet glorification of some of these people, man. Yeah, like, y'all really do. I never heard of this dude, and I don't need to hear of him. I don't, and I don't care what people say. Well, he is this. He's that. Listen, bro. Let me explain something to y'all, man. Let me explain something to y'all. None of you niggas can do nothing. You only can do what they allow you to do. That's it. That's it. You can't do nothing. If YouTube decides to demonetize you or decides that you are doing too much, they could clip you right off. You niggas work under an organization. He's not doing nothing. I wish y'all stop bigging up these dudes and putting them on pedestals as if they can really do something. They can't do nothing. They only can do what the YouTube allows them to do. The higher art, the, uh, the oligarchy up there. You can't do nothing. DGG can't do nothing. Whatever his name is, he can't do nothing. He only can do what YouTube allows him to do was doing today he was on stream with 5,000 people I haven't seen DDG stream in months but I'm sure today he thought to himself let me try to end Joe button and let me just wake it up so here's what he was saying all right see Kai is nice if I was Kai I would end his career Kai is nice I'm not nice I'm not nice and I'm bro you're not ending nobody's career. I wish you niggas get off this, these pedestals that y'all put yourselves on. You, Kai, all y'all, none of y'all ending nobody's career, bro. The more you talk about somebody, the more people are going to get famous. That's it. Unless you exposing somebody for being a PDF or something like that, you cannot end someone's career, especially somebody like Joe Buttons. You can't, bro. You're not going to do nothing. What you going to do? Convince the people that's loyal to him to stop watching him? That's what you're going to do? That's never going to happen. I wish y'all get off this pedestal because y'all got a couple of people following y'all. That's it. 
This man is 20, 30s in, 30 years in to uh, uh, interneting. He was probably one of the pioneers of streaming, of recording on YouTube. He was one of the first to ever do it when everybody thought it was a joke. How are you going to end that? How are you? You're not even really known like that. Nobody knows who you are. You might have a million subscribers, but there are billions of people in the world. There's 300 and something million people in America. How are you going to end Joe Buttons? You. I don't understand this. You niggas get this, this false sense of, of uh, just, just being the best at something because somebody told you or three people told you or five people told you. What is this? I drop a diss track just to get even more money. If I don't hit my, pe if I don't hit my peak of money that I want to make off of you, I'm going to go even further. I might make it. I might Kendrick Lamar you, nigga. I might not like us you just because. Bro, you're not doing none of that, bro. You're not doing none of that. No one knows who you are, homeboy. You're not doing none of that. You're not Kendrick Lamar, nobody. You're not doing nothing. You're not doing none of that. I don't understand why you niggas think that y'all got this power. A nigga gave his opinion about your situation, whether you like it or not. Just stick, keep it moving. That's it. You want to, oh, I'm ending your career. <laughs> what? Do you think you nice? It's rap beef. It's rap beef, y'all. It's right here, rapper. It's okay. I ain't dissing no streamer, right? He's a rapper. Joe Buttons hasn't rapped in like, oh my God. Yo, this is why, this is how you know that a lot of these niggas just be talking to talk. And they got people behind them and they got a little floor fan base with them. That's this is exactly what this is. Joe Buttons been stopped rapping, homeboy. He's not a rapper. He don't even consider himself a rapper anymore. He really doesn't. He considered himself a podcaster. That's it. He don't even consider himself a rapper anymore. And I can almost guarantee you, I never even heard you rap. I never heard you rap. Never. And I can guarantee you that you would get washed against Joe Buttons. I never heard you rap. And I can guarantee you he would wash you. At this age he's at right now, he would wash you. No way around it. You would get washed all the way around. You must have not listened to Joe Buttons' discography. I can almost guarantee you, you probably never heard him. And I can almost guarantee you probably mentioned Pump It Up. And once you mention Pump It Up, I probably turn the video off. Because I probably don't even want to hear no more. Rapper. Rap beef always get views. Come on now. Y'all know I get petty, man. I need my money. It's my third reaction. JoJo, I got about five more. So right now... He's watching some of Joe's uh, girlfriend's YouTube channel. I didn't even know she had a YouTube channel. Y'all know the uh, beautiful woman Joe is dating. I can't pronounce her name. It's K Kate Lee's or Katali's, something like that. Um, and so he was watching her YouTube videos, giving her advice. He didn't say anything disrespectful about Joe's girl or her children, but he just kept it on Joe. Wait, um, wait, wait, here's what, the next what clip. He, what girl is he talking about? I'm a uh, 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 what's her name? Kaylee? The, the, the girl with the teeth, the big teeth girl, the pretty girl with the big teeth. They haven't been together like almost 10 years. What, what, what? <laughs> I, if you're talking about her, I don't know who he's talking about. If you're talking about Tahiri, obviously he ain't talking about Tahiri because I don't think Tahiri has any kids. So he's not talking about Tahiri. But see, it's, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You talking to a nigga's ex-girl. They're ex for a reason. That's number one. Number two, why you corny niggas always do that? That's some corny nigga shit. Let me go to your ex-girl and talk to her about, about you. Or let me talk to your ex-girl as if that's going to bother me. That's some corny nigga shit. That's so corny. You going to go to a nigga's ex-girl? To try to find out information or or try to do whatever. What are you going to do with his ex-girl? It's his ex-girl. What are you going to do? This is some, this is what I'm saying. You, a lot of you dudes be so lame. Oh my God, it's so crazy. 
Y'all be so corny and lame. I just don't understand how y'all get so popular. Like, for real. A lot of y'all are so corny and lame. Like, for real. Y'all do, y'all do some corny shit. Like, real corny shit. Where do you niggas come from with this corny shit? I don't understand it. Ah, uh, Joe, 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 Joe. You mess with the wrong one, buddy, yo. I'm finna make some money off of you, and you're not gonna make any more after this. No more brand deals for you, Jojo. You mess with the wrong one, buddy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Put this on TikTok. We need him gone. All the all women empowerment, everything going on. Listen, ladies, y'all wanna cancel somebody? Let's cancel Jojo. I know he bisexual, but the LGBTQ community. Y'all need to cancel him too. Y'all the strongest canceler. <laughs> what the fuck is this, yo? <laughs> yo, I swear to you, I swear you niggas just say anything online now. Y'all say anything online. Bro, he says something about you. Okay, keep it moving. You don't like it, keep it moving. That's it. I seen what he said about you. He didn't even really know who you was. And you, now you're on here talking about this is what I mean, like, the, the level of delusion that a lot of these niggas be having is out of control. And the level of narcissism and, how would I say, just trying to control the narrative is just crazy to me. So, you want to cancel Joe Buttons because he gave his opinion about what you said about your ex and why y'all broke up. So, now you want to get someone in that's, never, that's not even involved into it. So you want to bring people into it to help you. Like, come on, bro. You can't be serious. There is. We got to get him gone, Jojo. Jojo got to go-go. Now, for context, he's talking about the Esther Baxter situation. And that's why I really feel like I think Joe need to try to squash this because. <laughs> Yo, you think this is wild. First of all, do y'all even know what happened between him and Esther Baxter? Y'all y'all even know? Uh, Yo, it's so crazy how y'all just go on and don't even know the evidence or the, even the, y'all don't even know what actually happened. They don't even know what happened. He actually did a song about it and he, and he talked, he talked about it in the song. So you're telling Joe Buttons that he needs to squash a beef with some dude who basically, whatever he did with his ex. So you're saying you believe Joe Buttons should squash it. You, if you know anything about Joe, bro, and I know you, are, you, are, you call him the pod father, you should already know what time it is, bro. You, are, you came up with the name pod father. You should know what time it is, bro. You should already know. I don't understand how you think that these niggas have all this power. It's so crazy. He's just a normal dude, bro. He might have a little bit of people here, but he ain't doing nothing different. He ain't no politician. Like, I just don't get it. Y'all act as if the rules change for certain people or something. Like, they can write the rules. Come on, bro. You can't be serious. Y'all need to learn about... If you're talking about Esther Baxter, you need to learn about what happened between the two before y'all even say anything, bro. Because you're going to look stupid. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all know what's been going on this year. Anybody who got a subsection of people on the internet that don't like them, they trying to get you out of here. <laughs> and if DDG wake that up, I think Joe could have a situation on his hands. I'm just being honest with you. I remember I was uh, posting Joe when the Diddy thing happened. And I think Esther, she came out and made a statement. They was in my comments. They was like, yo, they was begging me. Make a video about Tahiri. Make a video about Esther Baxter. Because now, you know, people seem to think I'm like a Joe Button correspondent. But I, I only really post his clips 
when he's talking about something that's a trending topic that week, if you notice. Some Wednesdays and uh, Saturdays, I don't post Joe clips because his commentary on something might not be uh, what I think is, you know, YouTube video deemable, okay? That's cat, bro. I fucks with you, bro, but that's cat. Oh, my God, that's cat, bro. You religiously was posting Joe Buttons, bro. That's cat, bro. Now you're not, now you're trying to act, now you're trying to backpedal, bro. That's a hundred percent cat. Don't sit here. You named him the pod father, bro. Come on, bro. Stop with the stop it, bro. Stop it. You gave the man a name that stuck, the pod father. People are using that. You did that. And now you're sitting here trying to act as if like you, oh, oh, I only read, I only don't really post the get the fuck. That's cat. Oh my God, bro. Come on, bro. You gotta stop, bro. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. I know, I listen, bro. I I've been following Joe Buttons before Pump It Up, bro. I know all that shit about him. I know all this. I was following Joe Button TV. I was, and when he had five subscribers, I was one of the subscribers. I know he's from Jersey City. He's from, he was born in New York, but he's from Jersey City. I'm from Jersey City. I followed this dude's career all the way. I know about the Breakfast Club interviews. I know about him going up to Hot 97 and, and being upset because they had a waiting outside and he was rapping and cursed everybody out up there when he was rapping. I know about all that. I know about his drug addictions. I know about all that, bro. You could say I was a super fan. Like, for real. Mood Music 1, 2, and 3s, Loose Quarter, all of those mixtapes. I know about all that, bro. All that. I was, I was a Joe Buttons fan before. Like, I was one of the fan fans. So when you talk about Tahiri, I know a whole story with Tahiri. I know what happened with Tahiri. I know what happened with them. They had a fight. I know what happened with the laptop. And I know it all that. I'm saying, I seen the videos with her crying on camera. I seen all that. It's still up. I know the whole thing about Esther Baxter. I know all that. I know what happened when, when, when she got caught cheating on him with the football player. I know about all that. So when you talking like, when he's talking like, oh, well, he need to, I'm going to get the people. Let me go talk to, bro, you talking and you talking in circles. I know about the whole thing when he went to court and he beat the charges and all that. I know about all that, man. Come on, bro. Y'all got to start doing y'all research. Y'all just be looking for stuff so y'all can try to plant something on somebody. That's all y'all doing. But, you know, I do pretty much post him a lot. But my thing with that situation is Esther, she kind of seems like she ain't really trying to get that deep into the situation. Um, here, Him and Tahiri. Because Esther can't because she was the one that got caught. Like, what? What is this? Man, let me let this play some more. It's it's so up and down. They cool, then they not cool. And also, the courts handled that situation. So I, I just didn't necessarily feel the need to talk about that. But this nigga, DDG, oh, he talking, he, he went through, it's more for him to go through. Because, you know, like, I know the history and everything. He he went through a little bit of it today. He he got to the Tax Stone interview, the Breakfast Club interview, where they was talking about um, Esther and you know when him and Tax Stone had that viral moment with Esther, but I think DDG is really going to try to cancel Joe. I do. I I'm just being honest with you. Man, listen, man. I'm going to stop you right there, and y'all can watch the rest of it on his channel. None of this shit going to work, bro. It's been tried already by people more popular and more famous, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even I would even argue some of the women that was involved try to do it, bro. And if they couldn't do it, this nigga ain't gonna do it. I don't know why you gassing this nigga up. Now I know you don't know this nigga, but I'm just saying. Like for real. You niggas be making open threats to people. You know that you know that you can't do that, right? You can't you can't make an open threat saying you're gonna do something to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to understand the ramifications behind that. A lot of you niggas be doing shit and then acting as if like, yeah, watch this. 
I'm going to make sure that you get no more deals. I'm going to put something out and they're going to cancel you. And I'm doing all this. Watch. But you don't have no evidence of it. So what you going to do? You're going to make something up. You know what I'm saying? What you going to do? If the courts already handle it already and they've already been taken care of, that means that you're going to slander somebody. That's a real thing. And a lot of you dudes, y'all do that. And y'all don't even know the law. Y'all just basically just throw shit out there because y'all think y'all can. And then when y'all get caught up, then it's like, oh, I didn't really mean it like that. Well, how did you mean it? You basically said you're going to get the man canceled and you're going to do all this and have no evidence of it. So basically, you're going to go find something that's probably not even there and then you're going to sensationalize it. That's it. I should do a diss track on him. Matter of fact, I'm going to get the LGBT. Y'all like to cancel people. Won't y'all cancel him? Like, what? What? Like, what What are we doing here? What? Are, what's going on here, man? I need to understand this with y'all. I need to understand what's really going on. Because to me, it just seems like y'all always, y'all always talk about how America is this bad place and how America's this and that. But y'all always want to use the laws to sue somebody. Same people y'all say y'all don't respect the law, y'all break the law, y'all do all this. Then all of a sudden, now y'all want to use the law. Now we got to get you, you got to get you out of here. You ain't going to get no more deals. Like, come on, bro. Come on, y'all got to stop the goofy shit, bro. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. But either way, man, that's the show, man. It's six o'clock. You guys have a good, 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 good night, man. I'll see y'all in the morning. Peace. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.